going on, Tackle Junkies? It's your boy, Juno Ryan, coming at you with a new video. I got a great peer video for you guys today. And a lot of the footage is pretty loose. It's pretty raw and not a whole lot of narration throughout. So what I'm going to be doing is kind of doing a voiceover throughout a lot of the video to give you all some context if you're not super familiar with peer fishing, not super familiar with fishing in general. So grab a brew, grab a coffee, really whatever you're into, and sit back. It's going to be a great video. Let's get fishing. One of my favorite fish to target in Florida, especially in the summertime, is a snook. Snook will eat during the day, but a lot of the time they do their feeding at night. So when you get to the pier early in the morning, you ha you'll see a giant school of snook close to the beach. They've been out feeding all night, and what they're doing early in the morning is they're moving from the beach to offshore. So you see a big push of fish. So if you catch that window, it's like a 10-15 minute window. I'll go and I'll be throwing lures at them and hoping that I can get one to bite. There we go. Nice little one on the gambler. All the blue runners came through. Got them all, all the snook fired up. This little guy came up and popped the gambler. God, and they'll tear up your hand, I'll tell you what. Just turn the hook over. Come here, dude. Oh, lost my gambler. Another thing I love doing in the summertime is throwing some sort of surface lure at a fish up? that's called a bonita, also known as a little tunny, also known as huh. albies, false albacore, a bunch of different names. But they're super aggressive, they swim super fast, and they'll hit baits on top, such as diamond jig, butterfly jig, like I'm throwing right here. And they're just so much fun to catch. You'll see that. What I actually there saw in this situation Need was I saw a bunch of baits skip. You didn't get that on camera, but a bunch of baits were skipping on top, and I knew that there had to be something predatory behind them, likely a bonita. So I threw, and as oh, you yeah. see here, the oh, dude next yeah, to me good. hooks up. So you can't win them all. Bonita. Just let him run. He'll do that. One little run, and then he'll start coming in. Thank 
during the middle of the day, the artificial bite for snook kind of slows down, but you can still get bit on live baits. You see my man Lou right here, he had thrown a live sardine out on the bottom away from the pier, yeah, right in. into a school of snook, and after right being out for really only about three or four minutes, oh, man. he got hit and he had to work this thing. I love how Lou just catches fish with a cigarette in his mouth the whole time. Oh man, that's a bad. <laughs> Don't kill the snook. Pull on him. All right, get ready to move. Pull on him. Oh my god. Hey, right there, right there. He went airborne. What? Done deal. Grab it. Yeah. Done deal. Done deal. Big ol' big ol' sand perch. Oh my god. That anything ain't slot. 34. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Net right in the face. Thank you, boy. Nice one. Oh, oh there's another five. hook right here. Oh, you can save someone else's hook out of its face. No, no, no. That's a my hook. Is that your hook? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. There's a line in its mouth. Yeah, yeah, you got something interesting. Subscribe to Paul Caparo. Part two of uh, old Ryan's videos. Whack the back of the handle real fast. Oh man, heartbreaker. Is that Trey's knot? Oh my God, he's fired. better have a reel on him. Come on, dude. Big snook. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the camera. Big Juno snook. The camera loves him. Yeah. We, we need to move that. Yeah. Everyone loves him. He's going to go to the right. Get off the reel. I need the reel. Dude, that's messed up, bro. <laughs> Pull, dude. Pull, dude. Keep pulling, dude. Keep pulling, dude. He needs net. Oh my God! Oh! My God! He's free. What happened, dude? Big snook, 125 you needed. You freighted through what, 60, 60, 60 pound leader? 60 floral, floral so good guys. Oh, you gotta fish heavier I guess, huh? <laughs> yeah, or maybe you, not, you don't need to be so strong. 60 pound <laughs> 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 So something super common to Florida is the afternoon, it's like clockwork. You can count on it that there's going to be thunderstorms come 3 or 4 p.m. almost every single day in the summer. And this day was no different. You see a giant thunderstorm rolling in, and I know it's probably only going to last 30, 40 minutes, so I was packing up my gear and I head to the hut. While I'm sitting under there, I'm just watching the school of bait next to the pier. And they are just getting lined up, they're getting really dark, and the bait's really nervous. When I start looking even closer, there's a bunch of big snook risen up, kind of balling up the baits, which you don't normally see in the middle of the day. You honestly don't normally see that with the bigger fish at all. So quickly, I caught a pilchard and I whipped that thing out there. Get 
Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, grab it. Fills it. Run, 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 run. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Swing it out. Beautiful. Got it. Yeah. Got the rock start, you got it. Woo! Oh, wow, good. Thanks for the net. Big one. Yeah, I was, wasn't expecting one that big to eat that. No, through. neither do I. I was like just watching you, and it was like yeah. boom, and I just saw you were like, oh shit. So the storm rolled in. The fish normally don't eat that good, but the pressure drops and they kind of turn off. So the rain lined up, pitched out in front of all the suspended fish, and he just came up and smoked it. That was cool. Kicked my butt though. You guys saw that? Yeah. Hey, good teamwork. Thanks, man. Yeah. Woo! So literally, as soon as I released that big snook. I walk to the other side of the rail and I see a massive bait run, a massive ball of sardines getting chased by 20 to 30 bonitas, like we talked about earlier, and I just immediately grabbed my diamond jig and chucked it out there. Oh my god! Hit it! Yeah, buddy. Summertime pier fishing. Whew. Lightning strikes. Rain. Oh yeah, that's like that pressure changes with the storm. Fish start to turn on. Yeah, there's big ones. That Kuda's gonna destroy this thing. So he's gonna, he's gonna, if he sees what I, yeah, if he sees what I got, he's gonna hit it. I would be quick if you see that. Oh yeah, look, there's one, one's chasing it right now. I loosen the drag to let him get away from it. I would be wicked to see that. The Barracuda's destroy it. Hopefully he lost interest.
now. Uh, it's more different than anything because these guys run out and the other ones run in. Nice, dude. Beauty. Oh! Let's let him go. It really was a super fun day. I had a great time and it really kind of allowed me to reconnect with what I grew up doing, fishing out on the pier, kind of like this with very similar methods. That is all the footage I have for you all today. Please, if you like this video, any tiny bit of it, leave a thumbs up. If you have anything to say about the video, absolutely leave a comment in the section below. I really think likes and comments are going to help this channel grow and put us in a position to make some more awesome videos for you guys. I appreciate you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in next week's video. Later.